When we do an IVF cycle, they all start pretty much the same. The first step is to shut the ovary off. And we actually do that with two medicines. One is a birth control pill, and another is called Lupron, either by themselves or in combination. Now, the purpose of shutting down the ovary is so that when we turn it back on, lots of eggs will start at the same time. We want multiple eggs, and we want them fairly synchronized so that when we go to take the eggs out, they're all about the same size, same maturity, have the same chance of fertilizing. So the ovary is shut down with birth control pills or Lupron or both, and then we want to give it a, a big push to get it started again. Now what we use is the exact molecule, again, the brain uses that tells the egg to be made. It's called FSH. And to make the one egg every month, the brain makes about this much, but if we give injections of this much, we're going to make 10, 15, 20 eggs. Now these are daily injections that the woman will take for approximately 10 days. And during that time, she will have to have uh, vaginal ultrasounds to determine how many eggs is she making, how fast are they growing, what is the dose that she needs to take to continue this growth, and determine when the eggs are ready. Now after the 10 days and the eggs are finally ready, they then have to be removed. The process to remove the egg is done in an operating room and the person will have an IV, they'll be put to sleep, uh, they will feel not one thing, they'll not remember one thing. It takes about 30 minutes. But the way the eggs are removed is a vaginal ultrasound is inserted and then with direct visualization on a TV screen, we will actually take a needle and put it into the center of the follicle that has the egg in it and aspirate the egg. Then we have the eggs out of the body. And again, that's about 30 minutes. The patient goes home an hour later, um, goes back to work the next morning, no incisions. And usually the only uh, true side effect is that the ovaries are gonna be uncomfortable because they've made 15 eggs and they've had needles stuck into them. So this is to the level of having to take Advil, Aleve, Tylenol. Occasionally we'll have to give someone a prescription for pain medicine. Now that we have the eggs out of the body, the husband will have to contribute his specimen. And we will put those together in the dish, and we'll actually watch these grow generally for five days. Now, if we're over 38 or we don't have very many, sometimes we will actually replace the embryos uh, on the third day, but in general, it's five days later. And the reason for that, if you start with 15 eggs and you put all 15 with sperm, now only 10 are gonna fertilize. We then watch those grow outside the body and half to two thirds of them just stop growing because something's not quite right with them. This is why we want 15 eggs because you start with 15, you end up with three to five. Well, now we've got three to five embryos that have the chance to make the pregnancy. We generally will select two and place those back into the uterus. The reason we pick two is if one doesn't work, you still have a second chance. But twins happen very, very, very often because of this. And so some people do opt to put a single embryo back in. Occasionally, if we're over the age of 38, or we don't have very many good embryos, we may put three back into a person, but it is not very common. Now the embryo transfer itself is a very simple process. It's pretty much uh, similar to doing a sonogram. Uh, or an intrauterine insemination in the office. So this part requires no anesthesia. The patient will lay at the hospital for about one hour, go home, lay around at home for the rest of the day, and then she returns to work the next morning. The last step in the IVF process is to make sure the hormone that makes the baby stick to the uterus is high enough because it will usually be low when we take the eggs out. That hormone is called progesterone and we have to replace or supplement the progesterone with intramuscular shots that start two days after the egg collection and go until we do the pregnancy test, about uh, 12 days later. So that's the whole process uh, for the IVF. 